when was the last time you put this down? Like really put it down and went out and talked to people, asked people how their day was, connected with them on a personal level. If you need a moment to think about it, so did I. Being a senior in college, I'm very observant of the world around me right now. More particularly, how every single person I walk past in the hallway on my way to class outside are just addicted to their phone. The college days that our parents talk about don't exist in the same way that they did for them. And it's because of this. It's really interesting having conversations with older people who had experienced a completely different type of college where everyone was friendly and talking to each other and you all went up to each other and had conversations. There was no shame and there was no distractions. That's what it is ultimately, right? Our phones are a distraction. How do you explain to your parents that nobody is talking to each other anymore? I try to explain to my mom, striking up conversations, how's your day, what's new, nice to meet you. People don't want to do it. People are more comfortable being sucked in to their device and what is going on in other people's lives than they are in their own. Listen, I'm an assistant hall director for a building of over 500 people. Every single time I get in the elevator, whether it's with one person or six people, all of them are looking at their phones. Nobody is speaking to each other. People can't even make it to class, which is two minutes away from their room without looking at their phone. And then people bump into people. You're not looking both ways when you cross the street. Like there are so many things that people are just unaware of because they are too busy, sucked into whatever it is they're looking at. It's so funny because I hear so many freshmen come in and parents from the freshman Facebook page or whatever, saying, oh, my kid's not having a great time, X, Y, and Z. And I can almost guarantee you they're probably sitting in their room on their phone. Of course, you're not gonna have a good time. There's so much to take advantage of at school and people are not doing that because they are too busy doom scrolling for hours after class. Like, no, go to a club, go to a sports game, go meet some people. We are in such a pivotal period of time and I feel like I wasted a lot of it because I wasn't present. And for what? For a like on Instagram? For a video to go viral on TikTok? That's not who I am. That's not what I want people to remember me by. I want to make genuine connections with people and have conversations and be positive and be able to make it to class without my phone. Honestly, it's time to start being really intentional with when you use your phone. It should not be taking away from your life. It should be viewed as a tool. I've been on social media for a while and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Every single day I grappled, do I even like this? Because all it is is, you know, scroll, 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 see somebody my age doing better than me. And then I compare myself to it, whether it's active comparison or it's getting in my mind and I'll end up thinking about it later, you know? I am sick and tired of feeling like I'm not enough because of consuming copious amounts of information on social media. The last two days, I decided I'm done. I'm making a change. I'm sick and tired of being addicted to the phone and I'm putting it away and I'm limiting myself and I'm setting boundaries. I'm still figuring out these boundaries but here's what I'll tell you. The world is so loud. Social media is so loud. You need to disconnect. It's time to be uncomfortable and sort out your thoughts. And that's what I've been doing. I've been, I've been journaling a lot. I journaled all night last night. I could barely fall asleep. Cause it, it really is the phone. It really is the phone. Why are we resorting to doom scrolling? Because we're so uncomfortable with our own company? I don't want to be that type of person. I, I love who I am. I, I'm creative, excited, but this takes away from it. Even with, I think about dating in college. Now hear me out. I distinctly remember the last time somebody came up to me and spoke to me first. And it was great. I was on the dating apps for a little bit and I hated them because it didn't feel genuine. It didn't feel real. And it was almost like people would survey the campus. You'd see someone cute walking and be like, oh, maybe I'll see him on a dating app and then I'll know they're single. That's not life. Go up and talk to them. Start speaking to people. 
Start asking people how their day is and be genuine, be real with it. Ask people what's a highlight of your weekend. Ask people questions that they would not expect. Start fostering genuine communication, genuine connections. Put the phone down. Stop distracting yourself from your own life because you're gonna blink and you're gonna graduate and be like, wow, I missed all the opportunities. I missed so many opportunities. Or man, I really wish I went after that person I thought was cute because they were single and I didn't know. How do you expect to make genuine connections with people if you can't even get off your phone? You can't even put it down. Speak to people, connect with people, and start living your life. Your life is not in here. It's not. All of this is something I'm guilty of too. I haven't been very present. There has definitely been times where I've checked my phone between classes just to check it. It's not even like I'm doing anything. I just go on and just look at it. Sometimes it'll, I'll just check the time for no reason at all. Oh, it's like nobody seems to just sit with their thoughts anymore. I'm done with it. I'm sick and tired of it. It's like people don't even hold doors for each other anymore here because they're too sucked into their phone. They don't even look back and say, oh, that person's coming, let me just keep the door open. No, people don't even do that. You want less anxiety? Stop doom scrolling. You don't wanna feel so crappy anymore? Stop consuming the media that is feeding you the crap. Be intentional with your life. Be intentional with what you do, what you consume, what you create. Our generation is so consumed with social media and our phones. I don't want to be like that anymore. And I don't want other people to be like that anymore. But I guess the only way to change it is to change yourself. I mean, it's really up to you. Keep distracting yourself. Keep not being present. Or flip the switch and be uncomfortable. Hit a breaking point. Challenge yourself to speak to people. You never know who you are going to meet and the paths that are gonna cross. You can do it. We can do it together. Let's just be uncomfortable together. That's it.